Hello, my name is Eric and welcome to another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. Today, we're gonna to take a little bit of a detour from software and focus in specifically on hardware, an instrument that is. And that instrument is going to be this device here. This is a West Coast Shaving Plastic Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. And there's very specific geometry, very specific dimensions to this bowl that I'm gonna be talking about. And based on the information that I divulge and dispense today, you can determine whether or not this is going to be a good fit for your daily shaving regimen. A shaving bowl is a nice alternative to face lathering. So for me, after all of the research and study that I did at the very beginning of this hobby for myself, I chose the face lathering path. It's my preference. It's my primary mode of building a lather and commencing with a shave. But I noticed that, I mean, the bowl method has always been around. And I've been at this for seven years. It's always been around. But I've noticed that as of late, it appears to me, just from my own experience and my own engagement with the community, there's a growing number of shavers that prefer the bowl. And for a lot of variety of different reasons, it might be that you don't like the mess that's created by creating a lather straight off the tub. Some of you folks just like to build the lather. You feel like you have more control over the lather build with your brush and the addition of water in the bowl. There could be a variety of different reasons why somebody would opt to go with a bowl over the face lathering method. For me personally, I like to build the lather with the brush. I like to kind of get those, that lather and those hairs or the fibers, whatever it is I'm using, whether it's synthetic bore or badger, I like to get those hairs in between my hair follicles and really feel like I'm building something on my face and building a lather that can really do something. But a bowl is a different type of an instrument in that you're going to place the cream or the soap at the bottom of the bowl. You're going to kind of really push it into the bowl, whether there's knurling in the bowl or not, and you're going to continue to add water and build a lather inside of the bowl until you get the desired results. Now, what's unique about this bowl, I talked about some of the specifications, but it's got a nice color, but you'll notice a couple of standouts. It's got a very deep bowl, very deep geometry. It's got a brush holder. It's got a handle for you to kind of stick your fingers through however you choose to hold it. It's even got these knurlings right here for you to kind of place. I like to hold it like this, almost like a coffee mug. I've got my two fingers here, my two fingers there. That might be your preference. You'll also notice that inside of the bowl, besides this West Coast Shaving Insignia on it, which is pretty cool, but you'll also notice that inside of the bowl, there's this knurling there. And this knurling causes agitation or abrasion as you're moving the brush against the soap along with the water that whole motion will create lather. It'll continue to build as you're going in a circular pattern. That agitation will continue to build the lather as you add water. And so I'm gonna demonstrate what that looks like today. I'm gonna to do a quick, maybe two pass shave. The focus is gonna be more on the bowl. Now the introductory MSRP on this is going to be $35 all the way through, but the introductory rate as this hits the site tomorrow. So it's evening as I'm, as I'm recording this video, it should hit the site tomorrow. I'm assuming in the morning, and the introductory price is going to be $28 for this bowl. So that's gonna be a nice discount, a nice opportunity for you to take advantage of that and grab this bowl if you're a bowl lather, or maybe you've never lathered with a bowl before and you wanna give it a shot, this is a great opportunity to do that. For me, uh, my very first shaving bowl was a ceramic bowl. And the issue with the ceramic bowl is it's got quite a bit of heft, it's a little bit more difficult to hold even if it has a handle because of the heft and the added weight. And you know, with wet shaving, it's wet. There's a lot of hydration involved. Our hands can tend to get a little slippery, even especially if we become mindless or careless during the shave. And there is a possibility of dropping the bowl. And if we drop the bowl and it's ceramic, it's going to shatter. And those ceramic bowls can be expensive. So we've noticed that over the years, there's been kind of a a leaning towards and a preference towards bowls that are more plastic and have more unbreakable material. So this bowl is labeled and categorized as unbreakable. So even if you drop it, you're not gonna have the harsh consequences of it shattering and having to purchase a new bowl. I'm banging it up right now against my counter. There's nothing going on. If I dropped it, it wouldn't break. And that's a really nice benefit of this bowl. So what I'm gonna to do today, just because it's later, and I'm not the type that likes to get an instrument and dig out soap from my tubs. I just don't like that. So I'm gonna go with the cream. Now this is a West Coast shaving cream called Lavender from Holy Cow. It was exclusive to West Coast shaving. It's really not offered anymore. I think it's sold out. I don't know that it's coming back, 
but a cream is just easier to work with, with in a bowl. I don't have to dig anything out with an instrument. I can just use it with my finger or apply it out with my finger. But that's the route I'm gonna go today just to make things easier for myself. The razor I've got going on is, I believe this is the 78S handle from West Coast Shaving. It's got the nice West Coast Shaving insignia on the bottom. This is a live head that was designed by Charcoal Goods. It wasn't machined or turned by Charcoal Goods, but it was designed. It's very mild and I've got a Gillette Platinum in this head. So let's get down to the shave. That's all that I'm gonna say about bowl lathering today. But I think I showed you at the bottom what that knurling looks like there. It's got a nice pattern. It's gonna create a lot of agitation. And I'm gonna get a good amount of this cream out. Probably about that much maybe. Maybe a little bit more than I need to, but I'm just gonna go with it. Don't want any mishaps today. It's later in the day, it's been a long day, but I'm always up for a shave. And I do have some business to tend to in the morning, specifically a formal business meeting. I would have had to shave, don't need to do it now. So I'm taking care of it. So I'm removing one item from my morning routine tomorrow. So I've got the cream kind of pressed in at the bottom of the bowl there, as you can see. And what I'm going to do, I've got the water to the desired temperature. It's gotten a little cold on me. I'm in California and we've had a gnarly, gnarly cold front. For you guys back east, you're probably gonna laugh at that. Like, you know, you guys in the West Coast have no idea what a cold front is, but it's been unusually cold here. It even snowed. And I can count the times on one hand in my entire life. I grew up in California, lived here my entire life, never anywhere else. I can count the times on one hand that it's ever snowed in the valley. That's how cold it is over here. The pipes are cold. It's gonna take a minute to get this water a little bit warmer. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw some water in there. I've also got my West Coast Shaving Acrylic Burl Wood brush with a 26 millimeter synthetic handle. Got that nice, beautiful coin there on the bottom. I haven't seen these hit the site yet, but I know they're coming. There'll probably and likely be more information about that as we get closer to the release date. Now, just an aside, for those of you that purchased this cream in the past when it was available, I just realized up until a few days ago, I used this cream a few days ago and I hadn't used it in probably over a year, maybe longer than that. And when I looked at all my shave of the days, I realized when it came to this La Superior, this is the La Superior line. West Coast Shaving has a couple of options from Holy Cow for this, but this was an exclusive they did back in, I want to say 2021. And I realized through my shave of the days that I'd only ever lathered or attempted to lather with a bore brush. And I didn't get the greatest results. And then a few days ago, Upon that realization, I decided to try this product again. I opted to go with a synthetic and I got much more explosive results, better results and in a much shorter amount of time. So if you have that cream and you haven't come across that revelation yet, try the synthetic. This cream is a little bit more finicky in my opinion than other creams but when you add the right amount of water and you use the right fibers up against it, you get better results. So I added a good amount of water on the onset and I've got some pretty good results right now. I'm gonna add some more water and then I'll show you what those results look like in the bowl. Now, I'm not an avid bowl lather. I'm not even a novice bowl latherer. I never, ever, ever use a bowl, hardly. The only times I've used a bowl, I had a ceramic bowl and I piffed it. The only times I've ever used a bowl has been really just to experiment with lather if I wanted to do that or just to give bowl lathering a try. Bowl lathering is great. It's a lot of fun. To me, it's a fun method to test a soap out or test a cream out and just build a lather in a specific instrument that allows you to see the results as it's building. But I prefer the face lathering method for all the reasons that I outlined when I first started the video. So it's looking pretty good in there. We've got some pretty good results. I'm gonna add some more water. This cream is getting very thick. 
and solidify it. I don't want to overdo it. But this is a cream that, again, when I went at it with synthetic, I got much better results than I did with the boar. Animal hair is, there's a technique to it. You really do have to know what you're doing. But as I'm lathering, I'm holding it this way. And it's just keeping me stable. It's giving me a good grip so that it doesn't slip. I don't drop it. I don't lose my brush. And even if I do drop it, it won't break. But me with my OCD, if I did, I'd probably rinse the bowl out and start over. All right. So this lather's looking pretty darn good. I think I'm okay with this. I'm not gonna go anymore. This is gonna give me exactly what I want. But you can see there, I've got a really nice lather going. That's what it looks like inside the bowl. You can keep going. Some folks will opt to add more lather. You could probably stretch it a little further if you're using a soap, especially a soap that has fats in it, like duck fat or tallow or bison tallow or what else, goat milk, all the different things that they're using today. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face. But really the emphasis and focus of this video is on the bowl. We have a laundry list of videos where we're shaving. There is a lineup of different shavers for this channel where you can kind of go on there and take a gander at what we're doing, everyone's method, everyone's technique, how they approach shaving. You're gonna see a little bit of that today, but we really wanted to emphasize the bowl lathering. Now, what's cool about this, I mentioned the brush holder. If I want to, I could set it like that. It lays straight, it holds it snugly. There's really not a lot of movement, a tad, but not a lot. And it kind of secures the brush for me if I don't want to set it on the counter. All right, so that's what that looks like. Now, most guys, after they bowl lather, what I typically see is this. They'll take the lather and they'll just start to paint, which is fun. To me, I like working the lather in between my hair follicles. I think that's the reason a lot of guys choose to face lather and prefer it over bowl. But kind of as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm seeing more of a percentage of shavers that are opting to go with this method. And I feel like I encounter more bowl latherers these days than I ever did in the past. All right, I think I'm gonna go with that. This scent was straight up lavender. It's late here, so once I'm done shaving here, I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm not doing anything else, so I'm not even gonna bother with post-shave or anything else. And it's holy cow. It's designed and formulated a very specific way to be skin nourishing. There's not a whole lot of necessity for post-shave products. So I can get away with that tonight. And I opted to go with this razor just because it's mild. It really is a mindless shaver. It's inexpensive. If you go to West Coast Shaving site, the first thing to do is to opt into their emails. They send out stuff every day, but they're always running deals and specials. There's always a sale on something, there seems to be. And sometimes if you have something in mind, especially if you're watching one of these videos, and I do get comments like that from time to time, where people will say, hey, watched your video, I'm intrigued, I'm gonna go pick this product up. And many times you'll find it's on sale. And you might even find that they're running a free shipping promotion. I don't know that that's the case right now. I should have double checked that, but recently it was. But this is one of those instruments that even if you accidentally become a little careless, you probably won't cut yourself. Now, from my understanding, Charcoal Goods hung up, or hung up, their instruments. They're no longer machining and making razors like they were. 
They were very popular when they were active. They're still popular. And I'm sure if they made a comeback, they'd go right back to selling out product again. They were popular for good reason. They were prodigious with razor design. All the charcoal goods I have, I have three. This is one of three. Whether they machined it or designed it or both. They are some of the best shaving instruments I've used as far as facial hair reduction goes. Now, for those of you that are used to the type of content that I produce for this channel, I like to be transparent. I don't feel that's just me with this shave. I don't feel like my face is as hydrated as it is when I'm face lathering. Because face lathering, you get that combination. And I'm also using a cream today. So that could also be a factor. But when I face lather, I feel like I'm really working the lather in, the combination of the properties and the hydration working together. And I'm really working that lather into my face and into my hair follicles and in between. Painting to me doesn't do that all that much. However, that doesn't mean that you abandon the bowl. What that means is what I've also seen, just as an aside, I've seen folks take the lather like they've got here from the bowl, the, the lather that it produces, those results. And I've seen them kind of maybe paint it on a little bit and then they'll start to swirl like this. The same motion of a face lathering, they'll do exactly like this. Just to kind of get that lather to do exactly what I just described. That way I'm not redundant about it. With me these days too, I'm trying to be a lot more careful with my synthetics. See, that actually even feels better by doing that. I don't know if it's a mental thing or what, but I feel like I get better results by the swirling motion. But with synthetics, the issue you run into is form because the fibers are set in such a way that they can lose their form if you manipulate them too hard. So some guys go in there and really start to push hard and swirl. And I've seen pictures of guys with synthetics where it starts to develop a bald spot like that at the top. And I've learned to be a lot more sensitive and delicate. I mean, I'm getting a great lather. Look at this lather. I never got this with the boar brush. I've actually, I was talking to Abraham from West Coast Shaving. I said, as I revisited this cream with the synthetic, I've gotten much better results with it. So I wanted to throw out that public service announcement because if you happen to be one, I don't think you can find this on the site anymore, but if you happen to be one of the shavers that picked it up when it was available and you happen to run into some issues with it, use a synthetic, use a 26 millimeter, get the water in there. I mean, the other day when I used it, I was kind of in a pinch, needed a quick shave and I thought, I'm gonna try this cream again. It's the only other cream I own outside of Katie's Bubbles Luxury Cream and that's a cream that I trust wholeheartedly. When I decided to revisit this, it's holy cow, it's gotta be good. And with the synthetic, massive difference, a positive difference. All right. I'm enjoying the shave so much, I might do three passes. This razor is excellent. And it's very, very affordable. And the handle stainless steel. The head is not, but the handle is. The head is a coated metal, but it's got good glide and it's a great performer. If you are an economical shaver or you're on a budget, this is a really, really great option to get a phenomenal shave without dropping 200 bucks on a razor. This combination in total, I have to go back and look at the listing, but you can probably get this for the combination for maybe less than 30 bucks, I wanna say.
and you're getting a stainless steel handle and it's stylish. And it's designed by Charcoal Goods. A legend in the shave world. I do hope they come back one day. I didn't even know they had left completely. That's how out of touch I am with everything right now. All right, I'm gonna do one more pass, but I wanna point something out. I have not had to go back to the bowl. Unless you saw me do that, I have not had to go back. So this is what it's looking like in my bowl right now. There's still plenty of lather to, to go back and grab. However, look at my brush. Got a ton of lather. I didn't actually put a lot of water in there. I put a decent amount in the beginning. I added maybe a couple of pinches at the most and amazing, amazing lather. Didn't get this with a bore, but I have with a synthetic. So I'm just gonna paint because I've reduced my hair pretty good. And the more hair you mow down, the easier it is to get a lather going on your face. I found that to be the case. I find that it's a little bit more labor intensive for me to build a lather when I've got a good amount of stubble or several days of growth. That's Look at that, I still got a ton of lather. That's all just what I made from the bowl. That's it. Amazing, amazing. This was just a cream. So if you go to your favorite soap, whether it's Singari Man, whether it's Barrister Man, whether it is Moon Soaps, whether it is Holy Cow, whether it is Katie's Bubbles, it doesn't matter. They all make hard soaps. Look at that. I'm just trying to get it all in there and blend it in. Just what's around the handle, but I got a good amount. And like I said, there's still a lot in this bowl. And, you know, I have the agitation, those knurlings on the bottom to attribute to that. Look at that. Still got a lot of lather to work with. And I can place this right there on the bowl. Don't have to worry about dropping it on the counter. So I have done that before. Especially as I'm making videos, sometimes I just get so focused on what I'm doing. I kind of lose track of what I'm doing over here. I get a little clumsy, I might knock something over. One of my brushes, I remember during a video, I knocked it over, or right when I was gonna make a video, I knocked it over and the coin fell out. This is a great shave, very therapeutic. And when I'm having shaves like this, especially because I'm not up against the clock, shaves like this are the reason that I prefer this method of shaving. It's just so therapeutic. There's just something about it. If you go real back into the West Coast Shaving Archives, I wanna say about 2017, West Coast Shaving did a series where they had their shavers, I was one of them that, that participated, compare traditional methods to contemporary methods. So I lathered one side of my face with contemporary soaps from an artisan, used the DE razor, DE blade, used a brush. And then the other side, I just used Kangoo, like a Barbasol or something like that, and a cartridge razor. Now for myself, I don't have any grueling cartridge razor stories. I never had a problem shaving with a cartridge. I didn't get agitation, I didn't get irritation, I didn't get reddening, I didn't get all that stuff. There's a lot of folks that have way more dramatic stories. You hear all that? This is my trouble zone. But there were other shavers that had much more abrasive experiences during that whole experiment. But where I was going with that is I could easily go back to back in the day. I used to just put a mirror up in my shower, one of those anti-fog mirrors that still fogs up anyway. I used to do that. And I had whatever 
shave cream I could find in a plastic container so that way it didn't rust in the shower. And my cartridge used to have like a little handle, like a little holder there right below the mirror. And I just shave like that 10, 15 seconds every morning. I was done, no issues. And of course you're in the shower where the water's warm or hot and your beard is the softest. But it was just more of a, that's a nice way for me to get that done and get it out of the way and really kind of fast track and accelerate or expedite as it were a part of my routine that I didn't really want to have to spend the time to devote to that. So once I found this method, obviously it takes time. If I'm not doing a video, it might take me 10, 15 minutes. I mean, just depending on the shave or how much I'm enjoying it or how quick I need to go. But this is one of those shaves I'm really enjoying when I'm not up against the clock and I'm doing these videos, I find that I really, really am enjoying the shave and I just wanna keep doing it. It's therapeutic, it puts me in a better mood. There's just something about this method of shaving. It's just like pampering yourself. It's pretty great. All right. I'm gonna do a quick cleanup because I'm one of those OCD types that If I feel stubble, I gotta go back and get it. And I wanna be as clean shaven as I am because I'm not gonna shave in the morning now. I'll just throw a cologne on. But I was able just to take all this from the brush and there was excess on the brush because of the method that I chose to employ to build a ladder today. And that was with the bowl. So I got good results from the bowl today. Really good results. And there's all kinds of bowls. In fact, I'm starting to see more in the community. There are so many brush makers now and most of them are very talented. In fact, I can't say that I've seen any where I was like, oh, that's not good looking or that doesn't look right or that doesn't look appealing. They all look fantastic. And they all, to the best of their ability, try to find a niche. but I'm starting to see more and more custom bowl makers. And it could be ceramic, it could be glazed ceramic, it could be other things. I'm just too clumsy. I'm not handy, I'm not sure handed. That's why you'll almost never see me reaching for aggressive gear. This bowl, I don't even wanna say it's an introductory bowl. It's a great, great shaving tool to build a lather, to get the results you're looking for in a premium way. And if you happen to make a mistake or lose your grip or drop it, there's gonna be little to no consequences. The price is great. MSRP 35, introductory rate 28 bucks. That's the deal they're gonna run on it. So tomorrow when it's posted, you can pick it up. I told you in one of the last videos that you can probably expect to see more proprietary products from West Coast Shaving. And this is another one of those products. All right, that was a nice shave. Drama free, no cuts, and great results from that cream. The lavender is not available anymore, but the Dulce Tobacco I believe still is, and there might be some other options for the cream on the West Coast Shaving site. And of course, you know, Sri makes excellent soaps as well. Very skin nourishing. A lot of great properties and you can go back in some of the videos where we give you all the details about how Sri approaches his formulations. Anyway, here's the bowl. This is the whole reason we made this video. Still got a lot of lather I could pull from the bowl if I wanted to, but my shave is concluded. Drops tomorrow, $28 introductory rate, then goes back to 35 MSRP. I don't know how long that sale is going to go. So pick it up if you can, as fast as you can, if you're interested in grabbing a new bowl, an additional bowl, or 
maybe your very first bull. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this information was helpful for you. Until next time, God bless you guys. Take care.